More than 50 years ago, history was created. The moon landing, first human on the moon, and those magical words by Neil Armstrong. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Those fateful words changed the history of space life so far. A philosopher once said, history repeats itself, and NASA is going to make this happen again in the next two years with its Artemis program. Yes, we are going moon again. This time instead of one step, NASA is planning for a longer stay of 13 days with the first woman on the moon. The big picture of the Artemis program is to build a lunar surface habitat for a permanent base camp that supports astronauts for longer duration stays. This helps to establish a strong and permanent human presence on the moon to start a lunar colony, as you have seen in the Ad Astra movie. Now, with base camps on the moon, it acts as a stepping stone for crewed expeditions further into the solar system, likely Mars. The life support systems, human habitats, and technology needed to live on the harsh terrain of Mars will be tested and perfected on the Moon. The Moon will act as a bridge between Earth and Mars. Likewise, Mars can be used as a bridge to reach other planets, so it'll provide infrastructure for deep space travel. In today's video, we'll understand the complete roadmap of the Artemis program and how NASA will turn this idea into reality with SpaceX. Great success in space when the Russians pushed a man across the threshold. It all started in 1961 when Yuri from the Soviet Union became the first human to travel into space. Next year, U.S. President John F. Kennedy promised to reach the moon by the end of that decade. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. And exactly that happened in 1969, the first human on the moon. From 1969 to 1972, NASA launched five successful human missions to the moon. Then things ended, as the cost of getting to the moon was, ironically, astronomical, and the space race between the United States and Soviet Union also came to an end. More than 40 years later in 2017, the Trump administration signed a space policy to return humans to the moon by 2025 and establish a permanent human presence and laying the foundation for future missions to Mars and beyond. In 2019, NASA Administrator Jim announced that the new program will be called Artemis. NASA planned five Artemis programs for upcoming years. There are mainly four components that will play an important role in these programs. The Space Launch System, SLS, can carry 5.2 million pounds of fuel and exceeds Saturn V of the Apollo era, making it the world's most powerful rocket. Orion spacecraft, bigger than earlier Apollo command module, and can carry up to four astronauts to and from lunar orbit. Orion can help us to reach lunar orbit, but to land on the moon, we need a landing system. So the third component is the human landing system. It's equivalent to the Apollo lunar module and Apollo missions. NASA has given the contract to SpaceX to develop the HLS. This will help astronauts to land from lunar orbit to the moon, and vice versa. Now the last component is Gateway, the world's first space station beyond lower orbit. It will be placed in lunar orbit so that it can support astronauts in landing all across the lunar surface by changing its axis, something which Apollo missions can't do. Now let's understand how these four components work together. The SLS will carry the Orion crew module from Earth to space, and then Orion will start its long journey towards the moon. After reaching the lunar orbit, it'll attach to the Gateway module, which moving in the lunar orbit. Then the crew can move from the Orion module to the HLS module. The HLS module helps the astronauts to land on the moon and back to the Orion module again. And then Orion can start its journey back to Earth. So this is how these four modules will work together to repeat the 1969 history. Now let's understand what is the plan for the upcoming five Artemis programs. Artemis 1 is a flyby mission. Flyby missions pass nearby planets and moons and take data from a distance. On November 16, 2022, at Kennedy Space Center, Artemis 1 launched. We are all part of something incredibly special, the first launch of Artemis. After reaching space, uncrewed Orion module start its journey towards moon. Five days later, Orion intercepted the moon and performed a flyby in lunar orbit. After six days in the orbit, Orion starts its journey back to Earth. 
and on December 11, 2022 Orion enters Earth's atmosphere and launched its parachute. This marked the successful start of Artemis program and NASA lane to return to the moon. Splashdown. Orion back on Earth. Artemis 2 is also a flyby mission with crew on boarded in Orion module. It's planned to launch in 2024. It'll follow the same launch procedure as an Artemis 1 and will take the crew farthest humanity has ever gone out in the solar system. Artemis 3 is a lunar landing mission. It is planned to launch in 2025. It'll be the first crew lunar landing since Apollo 17 and will land the first women on the moon. After launch, when Orion reached space, it'll start its journey towards moon. As soon as Orion reach lunar orbit, it'll connect to Gateway. Then crew will onboard to HLS or Starship. Then Starship will help crew to land on moon. The crew will remain on the moon surface for a week. Then Starship help the crew to reach back to the Orion module. And finally, Orion can start its journey back to Earth. Artemis 4 is also a lunar landing mission with IHAB module set up to Gateway. The IHAB module is a pressurized module that will provide living quarters for astronauts visiting the Gateway. It's planned to launch in 2027. The process is same as an Artemis 3, but this time Orion will carry IHAB module along of crew. And as soon as it reaches the Gateway, Orion will attach the IHAB module to Gateway. Then the landing process on Moon will be same as an Artemis 3. Artemis 5 is a rover and S pre module set up mission to the Gateway. This time a rover will be delivered to the moon's surface called as Lunar Terrain Vehicle. Gateway's S pre-refueling module will provide refueling capabilities for the space station, cargo storage, and windows for stunning views of the Earth, Moon, and deep space. The RM will be delivered to Gateway by the crewed Orion spacecraft. It is planned to launch in 2028 and will follow the same launch procedure as an Artemis IV. These are the proposed programs by NASA for the upcoming years to transform the humanity into space-faring civilization.